Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. It comes to me right now with a sad heart. It's really heavy. Um, rapper up and coming. Well, he's not up and coming. He was next. Pop Smoke was murdered today in Los Angeles, California, in the Hollywood Hills, in an Airbnb. And a lot of people were speculating that he owned the house. He did not own the house. The house was owned by Housewives of Beverly Hills, Teddy Mellencamp. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of Teddy Mellencamp. Teddy Mellencamp would never... She, she rented out. She, that was a, a house that she rented out all the time. And people he had on his Instagram, the address, because, of course, somebody sent him a gift bag. He had gift bags sent to that address. And... He was taking pictures outside of the home. They saying that it was like a home invasion where people was posted or like a robbery. A lot of reports is going out that it was a robbery, but I'm in New York. I'm from the Bronx. So I'm just going to say this. Rappers are targeted. We know what it looked like. If it walk like a duck, talk like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a duck. And I don't believe that they took nothing from that house. Nobody has reported yet what they stole from that house. Yet, not yet. Not one blog site, not TMZ. TMZ was on the scene, of course. And this is what TMZ had to say. Uh, named Pop Smoke, um, a very big rapper. As a matter of fact, he had a huge day yesterday because um, his album charted number seven on Billboard 200. And it's a, it's a mixtape, which is remarkable that a mixtape would do so well. He had songs with Travis Scott. He was working with big artists. This guy was one of the hottest up-and-coming rappers in the world. He was murdered last night, or early this morning, actually, about 4.30 this morning. Uh, he was at his home, a home, by the way, owned uh, by Teddy Mellencamp of Real Housewives. Uh, apparently, he was renting it or staying in it. Yeah. Uh, there was some kind of party or after party at his house, kind of gathering, a little after f uh, 4 p 4 a.m. this morning. Some people got in there. There was some kind of altercation, and he was shot. Well, we should, ex we should explain. So um, the people we've spoken with who know a lot about this have said that there were some people over there. It wasn't really a party, but they were just kind of hanging some out. Friends hanging out. Some people left, and others stayed behind. They deadbolted the door but didn't put the alarm on. And the, the, based on, you know, we've talked to people familiar with the surveillance video at least four people who were wearing masks and hoodies went in the to the back of the house and entered through the back came in fired multiple shots hit pop smoke multiple times and then they ran out and left they have not been caught pop smoke was taken to cedar sinai where he was pronounced dead he's 20 years old um the guy you know not only his career just getting started the guy's life literally just getting started and uh, it's tough to watch that video when you see the first responders doing cpr working on a trying to bring him back to life and it, it, it's just I'm going to pause it right there like I said TMZ was on the scene of course this is anywhere in like California Hollywood LA that's their stomping grounds I don't care what nobody say they did it with the Kobe thing they was right there and they was t doing it and on scene before anybody was there they did the same thing with Nipsey Hussle. It, 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 I, it, this is what gets people mad with TMZ. They showed that man's body coming out on the gurney and being worked on in the, in the fire department. I'm looking at the picture. I'm not going to show the picture. If you really want to see that picture, you can go to TMZ. But my thing is, I'm pausing it, but I'm looking at this and I'm looking at y'all. You see everything. Chest compressions being done. Everything. This is what made people mad about them. Y'all the first on the scene. That's y'all business. But certain things y'all don't have to show. They could have blurted that out right there. You understand what I'm saying? But they always want you to see extra shit that you're not supposed to see. 
And a lot of people was coming. I heard a lot of rappers was very upset. A lot of rappers was like, why did they have to show this and this and that? And the third, a lot of people saying that TMZ's story is, is twisted up all over the place. That's why I don't really want to go into every little thing until we get all to I see all of everything because I seen one video and it looked like the guys was coming through the back like they said they have surveillance and a lot of people didn't understand in certain people's lives from one minute it was reporting that they didn't have no surveillance and once I heard it was Airbnb let me tell you something when you rent a, when you are a owner of an Airbnb it's cameras there famous person or not it's cameras in there because they got to protect their property so they want to see who's coming in and who's coming out it may not be cameras in the bedroom cameras here cameras there but bet believe it's cameras in the garage it's cameras in the walk area coming in and coming out bet to believe that and sure enough i seen a video today because my daughter showed it to me of somebody coming in or somebody unlocking the door now, you notice how TMZ said some people left and some people stayed and then they dead bolted it. But they didn't put the alarm on. Everything about this story is very fishy. Y'all may not... I mean, a lot of people are already speculating a lot of things. But when you're from New York City, you know what you know. And sometimes everything don't need to be on 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 social media this is why i'm sorry to say it they showed him with a whole bunch of money and the friend let me show you something let me let me hold on one minute let me let it play out this is terrible it seems like it was targeted it, 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 it seems that way to me because you know again they came well, in literally 10 minutes, one, 10 minutes right. after 10 minutes after and he was the only one as we know of that been shot right right and so and as far as we know we don't know if anything was taken but this is interesting um hey, now you see how Raquel came in there and said the most important part. How is it that they spraying this man up? If it's of home invasion, right? And I know it's a rapper inside. And I know it's a couple of guys inside. If it's a real home invasion, they not just going for the rapper. They going to go for everybody. They taking from everybody. Now, like I said, they don't have a list of nothing being taken. Only Pop Smoke was shot. Not nobody else inside. They don't have a list of no items being taken because it wasn't about... I believe, deep down in my heart, my eyes stay open. That was a hit. That was a hit. That was no home in invasion nothing if they went in there they had their target they knew what they was doing he wasn't even there that long before the people even showed up they i don't even think he was there that long but raquel said the most important thing they only shot pop smoke let me just tell you this let me tell you something these young people are not smooth criminals at all i'm gonna say this they post everything on the internet they, they they talk too damn much, and they need an entourage to do every goddamn thing. A real smooth criminal would have got everybody in there, okay? Guns are blazing. They would have got everybody in there, and and they would have took they, a real home invasion. They would have took whatever they had to take, and, and if they had to shoot anybody, they would have shot everybody in there to shot just the target, the rapper, and then... You don't even hear what's being taken so far. That sounds like BS to me. And that's why I feel like it's a hit. But let me let them keep going. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Brad, explain. There were a couple of pictures that surfaced that he had posted that seemed to be clues in this whole thing. So a few hours before this whole thing happened, he posted, it was like a couple of gift bags or something, and he posted a video, and on those gift bags, one was had the address of the home. Uh, he had also posted... The photos, home that he was staying at. Correct, the home he was staying at where the shooting took place. Now, not, Brad, just, we, we blurred it, but you could actually see it on his Instagram. Correct, so he, it was very clear. 
clear. You could see where he was at. Not only that, but he and a, a friend posted several photos in the driveway of this home where you could see the home number and they were holding a ton of cash. Now, they was taking pictures. Everybody's dressed up. Allegedly that he's down with the Crips or whatever. So, of course, that's him right there and that's the friend. I'm not too sure if that's Mike D, whoever this Mike D is that everybody's been talking about. But he went on social media and he made a statement today on social media and called that his brother because a lot of people was talking about him. If I'm not mistaken, this is Mike D. And a lot of people were speculating, like, who is he? And and you got to watch the people that you around. This is that. And the third, he's holding up a stack of money. Which is crazy to me. But a lot of people was going off on his social media, saying that he might have said pop up. It, it, it was a lot going on on social media today. It was a lot. Obviously, we know in the past, social media... Now, this is another picture of them, and it's blurted out, but, like, right here in the corner where the truck is at on the top, you can see the numbers. You can see the numbers of the house, and this is the same day and everything. I don't, I guess it's the same day or the same weekend. They, it, it, it's just crazy, but the numbers are there, but right now TMZ got them blurted out, but... They saying on his Instagram, you can see the whole numbers of the house X, Y, and Z. It's just crazy. It's a lot going on in New York City. I'm going to say what I'm going to say in a minute. Right, we've seen this, we've seen it with robberies, uh, you know, a, a potential thief knows a celebrity is not going to be home because they post a picture on vacation. The one, thing we don't, thing. the one thing we don't know, because when you look at that money and you look at the address, you think, well, maybe these guys saw the money and they thought we're going to go get this they money. They stacks of cash in the house. Well, what we don't know is whether they took anything, that they came in right. and they shot right. him. Was this a robbery or was this somebody trying to, to do get, pop smoke to get harm? Him. That's right. And it's, we have... So far, we have not been told anything was stolen. We haven't been told it wasn't. They just said, we don't know. So, again, we don't know whether that money was the object or whether they wanted to get it. Hi, my name is Angelica from Alberta, Canada. Uh, yeah. Now, that was today at 4 o'clock on TMZ. And Harvey made his little statement. I'm going to say what I'm going to say about TMZ in a minute, but I want to show y'all something else real quick. Um, let me go down here. Let me play this right here. Peter say Alfaro is also responsible for the... was shot to death in Los Angeles early this morning. He broke through the charts last year with the billboard hit, Welcome to the Party. L.A. police say that he was murdered right there, yeah. what appears to be a home invasion robber. All right, originally from Brooklyn, Pop Smoke was just 20 years old. TMZ executive producer Harvey Levin joins us now. Now, this LA. is Harvey, Harvey obviously a horrible on story. 5 o'clock no, Was he targeted, do you think, City. or was this just the wrong place, wrong time? Well, I'll tell you what we do know. So it happened at about 4.30 this morning. It had some people over. They were hanging out. Uh, some of them left, and he dead bolted the door. Uh, did not turn the alarm on, but locked the door. At least four guys with masks and hoodies um, walked in the back of the house, and I know this because we've talked to people who have seen the surveillance video, and they went in the back, and they fired multiple shots inside, hitting him, only him. And he was taken to Cedar sinai where he died. Um, now, I, I cannot tell you if this was a robbery or not. Um, it appears definitely a home invasion. But the interesting thing is that earlier in the day, he's celebrating something because just yesterday, he charted number seven on the Billboard 200 for his album. So he was celebrating, and he bought a bunch of gifts, and he posted them online. Uh, One of the gifts had his home address on it. Oh, wow. And you saw it. Mm -hmm. I know. So here you've got the home address, and then there's a second post that he did where he and a friend are inside a car. Guys, the friend has a stack of bills this high. Jeez. I mean, it's crazy. We just seen and that picture. So you look at all this money and a home address, and then you think, 
I wonder if they targeted him to get the money. But we talked to the police, and as far as we know so far, nothing, they don't know of anything that was stolen. So whatever it is, either they targeted him or trying to rob him, but they definitely were trying to shoot him. Yeah, he was definitely up and coming, Harvey. Welcome to the Party was a huge hit. In fact, I believe that a commercial used it, um, the song, over the Super Bowl. I mean, he was seriously yeah. on his way up. He was seriously on his way up, Derry, for sure. And, you know, uh, uh, we measure, we have metrics on our site where oh. we can measure, you know, how many people are on a particular story. Uh, his popularity was massive, and I've kind of aged out in this area, <laughs> so um, I, I, I don't necessarily know, but my whole office knows, right. and they said, no, no, this guy is huge. Yeah. Now, that's an interesting perspective, too, right? Yeah. I think we're in the same boat. We're like, how big was this guy? Um, this is what I'm going to say about this. Posting money on your Instagram or your Facebook, wherever you're going to post it at, social media, period puts a target on your head. You have to watch the people that you are around. And you have to watch the people that they are around. You cannot allow no outsiders in your circle. With that being said, when you are getting to a certain extent, as a celebrity, having a big entourage with a whole bunch of young boys in it, your age bracket, talking about, oh, they holding me down? No, they're not. What I mean by that is they're not holding you down because if you're drinking, they're drinking. If you are engaging in activities as far as a strip club or anything like that, they're engaging in that too. If you're smoking, they're smoking. Nobody is on point when everything is around them and everybody is the same age. You have to have an armed guard or off-duty cop as your security at all times when you reach a certain level in the industry. That's why when people be laughing at 50, talking about old oh, 50 got cops at his security, he got cops on payroll. Listen, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at all because people are fucking haters. Nobody don't really want to see you come up. It's always going to be that one person that you might have to keep your cat eye on. And if you got to keep your cat eye on them so motherfucking hard, then maybe they don't need to be in your breathing space. They don't need to be in your circle. They don't need to travel with you. And that's what the problem is when it comes to rappers. Everybody can't go along on the ride with you. I'm sorry. Everybody can't come. Everybody can't come. It's impossible. It's going to be always something going on. Everybody cannot come. When you roll in entourages and you posting money on social media, that draws attention. Attention to cops. Attention from... People that's trying to rob you and harm you. Attention to your jealous, envious people that's just out there ready to do you dirty. Number one, people don't like to work for nothing no more. They don't have no value in nothing. They don't have no value in themselves. They don't have no value in life. They don't have no value for you. So don't think that you can't get got. Because let me tell you something. There's a lot of cities where you just need to be watching your, your head at. It's going to, like Fabulous said on his album, it's going to be a cold summer. People are coming out of jail. There's a whole wave of people coming out of jail. I'm not going to say who they are. But it's a whole wave of people getting ready to come out of jail right on time for the summertime. And yeah. A lot of people is not scared to go back to jail because they don't have nothing to live for. They don't have no value of life, no value in them, no value of family, no value of self. So they ready to get you because nobody don't want to work for it. Nobody wants to work. 
just what, a couple of days ago in the bodega in the Bronx, the girl went in there and asked for a cigarette. The worker told her, the guy from the bodega said, I can't give you a loose cigarette out of a pack. I can get fined and get my store shut down. She got mad at him, went and got her boyfriend, and they killed that man over a Lucy cigarette. You killed that man over a Lucy. They got caught, got locked up though. Got locked up. They both got locked up. And then come today, I find out that she was released. Why she released? Because she didn't pull the trigger? She should have pulled the trigger. You went and got your man. You went and got your man. And your man is a bum. This is what I'm talking about. Your man is a bum because he could have kept saying, I'm going to buy you a pack of cigarettes. First of all, cigarettes is like damn near $22 or something like that. Why is you still smoking cancer, sis? Like, really? You went hard over a cigarette. Now your man is locked up and you in jail and you basically put him there because you wanted a fucking Lucy. And there's no way in the world she just went. And said that that man didn't want to give her a cigarette. You had to tell him something. You had to tell your boyfriend something a little bit more to make him go in there and kill that man. People will kill over anything is what the moral of the story is. These streets don't belong to nobody. They be here when you wake up. And they be there when you six feet under. They ain't going no fucking where? Unless God want them to go somewhere. Unless the earth just blow up. Other than that, these streets is not going nowhere. They not for you. They not for nobody. They don't see nothing. They don't see color. They don't see nothing. But I notice it's our people killing our people. You don't see country stars having this problem. You don't see this in gospel. You don't see this nowhere else. You don't even see this in rock and roll. You only see this in, in, in hip-hop, in the hip-hop culture, being flashy. Black people always feel like they got to be flashy. You got to show everything. Like, remember when you was little, you knew Easter time was coming, so you knew your mother was going to get you that fresh Easter outfit, along with a fresh Easter outfit, you're going to have that extra outfit to go to church, and then when you come home, you change it into them fresh sneakers and them fresh Windbreaker suits or Reebok suits or Levi outfits, two pieces and all that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I was born in 79, so I know what type of time Easter was. But people used to be thirsty to go put on an Easter outfit. It's the same thing. You so thirsty to throw everything on Instagram. You cannot throw everything on social media. People are jealous. People are envious. And I don't care what nobody say. Jealousy is a disease. That shit is a mental illness. I don't care what nobody say. To make you want to go kill somebody and take a life. And nobody thinks long term what his family going to do. What they going to do. What his kids going to do. How they going to take care of them if he was taking care of them. Nobody cares about all that. Nobody cares about the value of life. It seems like value of life has been long gone lost. The value of life when it comes to the hip hop community and black communities, it's gone. These young kids don't know no better. These young kids don't know no better and they don't want to listen to the people that came before them that did this. This is nothing. It's just getting worse, but we've been through this already. We've been through this already where people are just jealous and they will kill you for no reason. For no reason at all. And it seemed like, and I've been saying this for a couple of months, you know, New York City seemed like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. When it, when in certain areas, you can't just go in certain areas and just, you know, cruise through and not be fucked with. Like, if you a dude, you cannot just roll through and know. Somebody got to know you. And I'm with some people to say, lock the city down. Lock it down like it used to be. I remember when people used to try to come through here. Oh, 
people from out of town, they couldn't just come in New York City and say they're coming to get money over here. You couldn't do that. And you can't do that in no other city. New, in L.A., none of that. You got to let people know you coming in their backyard. Now, it's alleged that he stole a car from a video shoot and the guy was well known in LA and and he and he brought the car back to New York City on a flatbed. I don't know if those two incidents are related to this. I don't know if those two if these are related, but it's just crazy. It's crazy. I don't want to assume nothing, but I know it's definitely a hit. That's that, that in my mind, that's exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what a bad part about all this is? Being that it happened in it happened in Hollywood. Let me tell you something. It happened in Telly Teddy Mellencamp's home, which is on she's on Beverly Hill Housewives with Kyle Richards and all of them. She's on that Housewives franchise. And her husband is the manager for Boy George. Yeah. she They got long money. So she never was living in that. Not if you see her house house. She's never living in that. That was just a property for her to make extra money on. That's it. But what I'm saying is. This is going to be on Housewives of Beverly Hills when the upcoming season comes. Because they're coming up next. Them in New York City is coming up next. And I bet you for a fact it's going to be up there. Because reality TV just don't care. They just don't care. It j and, and, and it just so happens it's her house. and They just don't care. Yes, I put the quotes in the air because it seemed like Every time something get ready to come on, some bullshit happen. Or if it's in, if the if the reality show is in motion, something happens. Look at the whole Santana shooting that happened in Miami. Now he's on Miami, loving hip hop Miami, and he's talking about the shooting and all of this craziness. Like, is this like all everything comes full circle for me because I sit back and I analyze and I watch these shows. And I peep fucking game. And like I said, my eyes be open. You can you never gonna catch me slip at all. You can never dangle some bullshit in front of me and tell me it ain't bullshit. It's gonna be on Housewives of Beverly Hills. Because Andy, they they listen. Do anything for clout. This is good or bad. They nobody cares no more, it seems like to me. When it comes to these reality shows, everything, need, they, they glorify everything. Death, abortions, shootings. They glorify everything and put it out there for the world to see. And it's just like social media. It starts with social media first. And then it rolls right over into the reality shows. But this is real life. And that young man's life, Pop Smoke, was taken away too soon. He was only 20 years old from Brooklyn. It's crazy. I just want to wait and see the rest of the story develop. But you don't have to tell me. Nobody has to say on the news, well, it was a hit. It was a hit. It is what it is. And it's very sad situation that you can't even post nothing without people getting angry about something. People always going to have something to say. If you put it out there in the, in the world, they going to have something to comment on. If you don't put no money out there on social media, you stay low key and make your money. And I'm not trying to say you got to stay low key to the point where you're not being seen because you're going to be seen. You got shows and stuff to do. You got business to handle. But all that, he should have had security, security with him. You understand what I'm saying? You are a New York rapper going to the West Coast. It can't happen. Anybody could have called, oh, he here. Like, yeah, that's how that goes down. 
But if you putting it on social media, no no calls got to really be made. No calls got to really be made if, if the person is right there with you. And I'm not trying to say that that might be person did it. I'm not going to assume that. But if any person in the room is there and they don't like you and they that's pretending because there's a lot of pretenders out here. It is what it, it that's how that goes. People are grimy, grimy. They will smile in your face and stab you in the neck all at the same token. They will tell you that they love you and hit you right in the forehead. And is this a sad situation right now? New York City is mourning the loss of pot smoke tonight. I would like to say rest in peace to Pop Smoke. My prayers go out to his family and his real close friends. Just stop putting stuff on social media. You have to watch your back. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll hit you in the comments. Later, YouTube.